What's going on, music creators? It's your boy, Fly Guy J, and I'm back with another video. Now it's Wavy Wednesday, so you know what that means. What does that mean? What? That's the thing. What are you talking about? Huh? What does that yes. mean? I don't get it. What does that mean? Huh? What does that mean? Huh? What does that mean? I don't understand. It's time to check out another Waves plugin. Now, in today's episode, we'll be checking out the Waves Max Bass plugin. And I'll show you how you can use this to enhance the perceived low end of your 808s and help them stand out on small speakers like laptops and cell phones. If you've already subscribed to the channel, welcome back. And if it's your first time stopping by my channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you can get notifications of future videos. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I've opened up a Pro Tools session for a song that I produced called Designer featuring a dope artist by the name of Flamo. And what I'll do first is play the hook section of the song so you can get a feel for the track. And then I'll solo out the 808 track, pull up this Max Bass plugin, and we'll start diving into how you can use this to enhance the 808. So here's the chorus. She a bad one, she love designers. I'm a real one by her kindness. She want that real love, the internet. She said that new drip, keep her wet. She my late night flex. 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 She gon' spin a bag on some design. Chanel wanna the design. I just dropped a bag on some design. She know my body, that's design. Yeah. It's a dope song. If you're interested in hearing the full version, I'll leave a link in the description where you can go ahead and download or stream it. So this is the interface for the Max Bass plugin. And what this plugin does is it creates and adds harmonics to your bass signal to help your bass stand out on smaller systems. These added harmonics trick the listener's ear into hearing more low bass frequencies than actually existed in the original bass. You can use this plugin to fatten your bass lines, to sharpen your bass lines, or to give your bass better presence and help them stand out on smaller speakers. So let's take a look at the user interface and go over what some of these knobs do. So in the graph section, you'll see this blue area represents the original bass, and this yellow area represents the harmonics that are being added from the Max Bass plugin. To the right of the graph, we have our output section, and in this section, we have three sliders. We have an input slider. This controls the level of the incoming signal. We have the original bass slider. This controls the level of the original bass, which is the unprocessed bass in the blue area. And then we have the max bass slider, which controls the level of the harmonics that are being added, which can be seen in this yellow area. To the right of this, we have your level meter, so you can keep an eye on your output signal and make sure you're not clipping. And then below this, we have three buttons. If you have this audio button pressed, you'll hear a combination of the original bass mixed with the max bass harmonics leaving the plugin. If you have this max bass button plugin, you'll only hear the harmonics that are being added by the plugin. And if you have the original bass plugin, you'll only hear the original 808. This frequency value controls the crossover point and tells the plugin which frequencies you want to create harmonics for. You can change this by double clicking and typing in a number, 80 hertz, let's say, or you can use this slider to change the frequency crossover point. If you want to add presence to your 808s and make them stand out more on smaller systems, it's best to use a frequency between the range of 60 and 100. And what I've found works well on 808s when using the max bass plugin is to use the fundamental frequency. So for example, this track that I produced is in the key and scale of D minor. And if you pull up a tuning chart, you can see that the D note resides at 18.35 Hertz. So what you can do is you can use this number, multiply it by two and keep multiplying it by two until you find the D value that resides between 60 and 100 Hertz and then set your max bass plugin to that frequency. This way, the harmonics that you're adding 
will be in tune with the fundamental frequency. So if you double this number, you will get 36.7. And then if you double that again, you'll get 73.42. So for this particular track, this is the value that I'm gonna set the crossover point to. So I'll set this to 73.42. I believe it only rounds up to even numbers, so we'll leave it at 73. Underneath the frequency setting, we have a dynamic section where you can change the ratio and response of the compression that's happening in the plugin. The ratio determines the amount of compression going on. As you increase the ratio, the level of the harmonics being added increases, but your dynamic range is decreasing. The response value controls the attack and release of the harmonics. And this number is in milliseconds. So a lower value here equals a faster time, which will give you a tighter, punchier bass sound. This is good to use for kick drums. For 808s, you want to use a slower response, so you want to increase this number. The last thing I'll mention about this dynamic section is that this is only affecting the max bass signal. It's not affecting or compressing your original bass signal. Next to the dynamic section, we have the harmonic section. And you have two controls here. You have a high pass filter section, which has three different filters you can use. You can use the high pass filter to determine how low in the frequency range you want to add harmonics. And you have a decay section, which controls the decay rate of your harmonics. In other words, this is controlling how long the harmonics are lasting. As you increase this value, the harmonics will last longer, which you can see by the reflection of this graph here. And as you decrease this, the harmonics will last a shorter amount of time. So you're getting less harmonic content. If you want a more natural sound, you'll want to keep this at a lower value. But if you want to add presence and make it stand out on smaller speakers, you want to increase this value. Now let's solo the 808 track and bypass the plug-in on and off so you can hear how this is affecting my 808. We'll start with it in bypass. So this is my original 808. Now let's engage the plugin. Off. On. Off. On. So you can hear that when the plugin is engaged, that 808 sounds fuller. It sounds like there's more bass in the 808 and it's really standing out more on your smaller speakers. What I'll do next is we'll loop the 808 and we'll start playing with some of the knobs and sliders on the plugin. So let's bring this all the way down. Now let's start to slowly increase this so you can hear what the max bass is adding. Let's change the high pass. You can see it's starting to get muddy getting too much of the low end added in here so let's change that back now we got a much cleaner signal if we wanted to take out even more of the low end we can go to the next filter and tighten it up some more let's play with this decay rate so it's a tighter sound now let's increase this. Let's move the frequency around.
Let's lower the original bass. Bypass it. Engage it. Return this to zero. So this is just the harmonics that are being added. So if you wanted to, you could set it to just hearing the harmonics and then you can go ahead and shape your harmonics. Now this is just the original bass. And then the audio we'll go back to and we'll listen to the combination. So one important thing to remember when you're using the Max Bass plugin is that when you start adding in the max bass harmonics, you are increasing the output signal. So the, your, your 808 track is getting louder as you increase and add harmonics. So if you wanna keep the balance of your overall mix, it might be a good idea that as you increase the harmonics, you start to lower some of your original bass so that you can keep the level of your 808 sitting nicely in your mix. I tend to use the Max Bass plugin on my individual tracks rather than putting it on my master channel or my mix bus, but you can use the Max Bass plugin on your mix bus or master channel to affect your entire mix instead of singling out individual tracks. My only suggestion if you go about it that way is to make the Max Bass plugin the first plugin in your mastering chain so that you can level match and keep the balance of the mix. So that's how you can use the Waves Max Bass plugin to enhance the bass in your 808s and help them stand out on smaller systems. If you enjoyed this video or if you learned something new, click that thumbs up. If you're interested in purchasing the Waves Max Bass plugin, I'll leave a link in the description that'll take you to this website. As you can see, they're having a good sale right now where you can save 70% on the plugin. Lastly, don't forget to check out the full version of our song Designer featuring Flamo. I'll drop a link to that song in the description as well. One final reminder, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button and help my channel grow so I can continue to give you guys tutorial videos, reviews, and dope giveaways. Until next time, keep learning, keep creating, and keep grinding. I'm out. Yeah. Black on black, my V, I pull up smirk, my boy Young King got it out the dirt, my boy She show me love, I ain't gotta flirt, my boy They been on my dick since birth, my boy Big fly, I don't walk the earth, my boy Five face, five home turf, my boy